Hi, I'm Gabi from Ray Studios and today I'm going to be reviewing the 7 Artisan 7.5mm f2.8. First, let's unbox it. All the lenses for 7 Artisans, the box looks exactly the same. Salute to Shutterby, guarantee car. Okay, this seems to be like an instruction menu, Chinese and English. And what is really important in this box, the lens. Like all of Severn Artisan's lenses, this is a full metal view. And it feels really good. The focusing ring is a little bit stiff, but to be honest, I barely even ever use it because everything is on focus with a fisher's lane. I basically keep it somewhere around one meter to infinity and everything goes on focus. The aperture ring is uh, the click, so there are no clicks to it, it's very smooth. And it's a little bit stiff, but it's something that I appreciate because there is not gonna be accidental shifting of the aperture ring. The mount is made of metal and the cap is actually plastic. It is the first lens from Seven Artisans that I ever used that doesn't have a metal cap. But it is good plastic, it's not bad. And check out this front element. Nice. I'm gonna show you how this looks on a Sony A6300 so you can see how small this actually is. Well first, let's check the sharpness on the test chart. Straight out of f2.8, sharpness is very, very impressive. Very good contrast on the center, and not so much on the center, but even to, towards the corners. Uh, the very edge of the corners, of course, are a little bit soft, and that's because this is a fish eye lens. Obviously, as you can notice by the pictures, distortions is very very pronounced on this lens as is to be expected from a fisheye lens. You can see that the sharpness even from f2.8 and through almost all the range is just very sharp, excellent contrast. So not much to talk about it, there is pretty much no color fringing and it's a very very good performance. To be honest, I was a little bit skeptical about this lens. I always saw the fish eye lenses, they were something, you know, to have fun with. Um, I never actually had one before, but I'm actually falling in love with this lens. It's giving me some amazing results, some very, very dramatic pictures. The color reproduction of this lens, it is also amazing. And you can be very creative, like doing some art photos shooting the stars at night and shooting building architecture. I really like what you can be able to achieve with this lens. And as you can see, it's sharp enough and it's giving very good results overall with all of my pictures. To see the full resolution pictures, make sure to visit my Flickr account. Well, to be honest, I am very gladly surprised with this lens. I was putting it onto my camera and take it out thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it gave me some amazing results. I love the pictures coming out of this lens. It is also surprisingly how sharp and accurate it is. Focusing is extremely easy. If you never use a manual focal lens, well, this is pretty much the best you can ever use because it's, you don't, I never even touch the focus ring, like ever. Unless you're, you're focusing very, very close to something, then you just probably just keep it on infinite and everything is on focus. 
Um, this is an amazing fisher's lens. If you have a Emon camera, I totally recommend you buy this lens. It's easy to use and with excellent performance. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing.